welcome to episode 82 of our Family Travel Australia series. This week we continue our stay in the incredible New South Wales outback. We take the Hilux in for a new set of wheels and then hit the red dirt, headed for the historic Daydream Mine for an underground mine tour like no other. We camp off grid at the Living Desert State Park Starview Primitive Campsite under 5 billion stars and spend our days exploring the 2400 hectare reserve including the iconic sunset sculptures that brought together artists from all over the world. Plus we explore the flora and fauna sanctuary and hike the two kilometre cultural walk that showcases the area's indigenous history, scenic lookouts, unique flora and free-ranging wildlife and settle in for some spectacular sunsets that only the Australian outback can create. Be sure to subscribe and join us for all of the adventure. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? Good morning, everyone. Good morning from sunshiny Broken Hill. Although it's a little bit chilly, isn't know, it? Look at us Queenslanders all rugged up. <laughs> Uh, okay, we've got a great day ahead of us. We're heading out to Silverton, which is uh, an historic little town, uh, about 25, 30 minutes drive outside of Broken Hill. But we just stopped in to Premier Independent Tires, saw Ray, got some advice from a local that he was the guy to see, and we've got new wheels. Yeah, hey? woohoo. Pretty good. Expensive new wheels. Oh, it's mental really, but <laughs> You know, look, you we ended up with uh, these Goodrich uh, KO2s, a lot of research, again, some advice. Uh, the guys at ARB actually recommended these tyres as well. Um, don't know if you've got them or you've, you've had them or, yeah, give us your thoughts if you've got these tyres or you've got a, a better suggestion. But, look, we'll give, give them a test run um, over, obviously, the next 50,000, 60,000 clicks. We've already done 40,000 Ks. Wow. Amazing. Um, but they did a good job. It was a good seeing Hilux up on the the yep. air, Jasper? Yep, the hoist. The hoist. I couldn't think of the word. There you go. Got a four-year-old to <laughs> sort my language out. Yeah. yeah. Um, what were we getting done to the tyres, mate? We are getting some tyre lines on. Tyre alignment. That's right. Uh, so, yeah, they did a great job. Anyway, if you're in Broken Hill, go and see Ray and the guys there. They look after you. Take your money happily, I'm sure. All right, so Daydream Mine is where we're heading first. There's so much to do out here, uh, but this will be the first experience for us to enjoy. We're going to spend a few days out in Simpleton, and I think this will be pretty cool. So looking forward to it. Hopefully, yeah. we can get some morning tea. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm hungry. How epic is the landscape out here? It's, it's like flashback to outback Queensland, isn't it? It really is. A lot more sort of hills, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, red earth. Amazing. We're in the outback. Woo Love it. Woo. And there's a dip. <laughs> it's a good thing they're working on the road. Yeah, good. Oh, jeez, there we go. There's another. Wait till we tow the caravan out here. Yeah, that would be lovely. <laughs>
Are you ready to go mining, Jasper? Yeah. Yeah. We have just enjoyed this awesome underground tour. What did you think? Yeah, amazing. <laughs> so Daydream Mine is located about 30 minutes or 25 kilometres outside of Silverton. This mine was actually discovered back in 1882, which makes it older than Broken Hill. And gee, it was a great family experience. It sure was. I mean, you are getting deep down into the mine shaft and Kevin, our guide, was so knowledgeable and so passionate and sharing the stories of the men and children who worked in this mine. You know, the average life expectancy for the men was 32 years and Crazy. there were eight-year-old boys working yeah. down in that mine for 12 hours a day. I mean, just incredible stories of hardship and resilience doesn't it make you appreciative for <laughs> everything that yes. we have hey mm -hmm. uh, look Kevin and Beth they've been operators here for 26 years and they really do a fantastic tour when you come up back into daylight and you adjust your eyes you can sit out on their patio here overlooking the barrier ranges this stunning landscape mm. incredibly harsh landscape and you served up pot of tea some Devonshire scones that was good. Were they good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. This is an excellent tour and one to definitely include on your itinerary when you're coming to Broken Hill and Silverton. in a place called the Living Desert State Park. Now it's about 12 kilometers outside of Broken Hill and this 2400 hectare reserve is the place to stay if you are planning a visit to outback New South Wales. Oh, absolutely. Mm. And we are parked up in campsite number one just behind us here, which I believe is the smallest of the 15 sites available. But to be honest, what it gives you is those uninterrupted, breathtaking views out over this spectacular scenery. And we didn't have any trouble getting the van in there at all, did we? No, I mean, we do have a larger van being almost 23 foot, but there really is, as you can see, plenty of yes. space <laughs> out back. Do you know what it reminds me of? It's like someone has picked up our van and just plonked it in the middle of Pro Hearts painting. Oh, I love it. <laughs> 
So there are 15 campsites and they're really great for all types of RVs. So your motorhomes, caravans, rooftop campers, and then they have a separate wood chipped area that's been specifically designed just for tent camping. Yeah, I think this is quite clever. It really does allow for a much more comfortable base mm. for tents, I think. Yeah, for mm. sure. And then of course there's gas powered showers, there's toilets, there's a large shelter that has free, free yeah. gas barbecues, fresh drinking water. I mean, they really have thought of everything to accommodate a stay out here in the desert. And the thing that I love the most is the rangers have put in two star beds. So you can kick back at night time, you know, look up at five billion stars in the night sky. Okay, there are a few things to know before you visit. Bookings can be made online. We'll have all the details below or you can visit the Visitor Information Centre in the heart of Broken Hill mm -hmm. and you can do bookings there as well. Now, there is no power, mm. no fires allowed, mm. no pets, mm. no dump site. Mm -mm. It's only $10 per adult per night. Amazing value. Yeah, it's $5 for kids aged 5 to 16 years old. Mm -hmm. And if you're Jasper or anyone who's under 5, it is free. Awesome. Yeah, it really is fantastic. What is really unique about this off-grid campsite is that it is gated. So you do mm -hmm. need a keypad code to enter into the campsite, but then it also makes it feel very safe and secure. And of course, it's so, it's so quiet, quiet out here in the middle of the desert. And we also got the opportunity to catch up with the rangers, Daryl and Nicholas, who are so passionate about this park. And you can really see that in how well maintained it is. And of course, the facilities that they provide for campers. Something else that was quite impressive is the phone service. Mm. So when we arrived, we had two bars of 3G. We've both got Telstra phones now. Yep. Um, we were able to put our Cellfi Go Wi-Fi booster to the test. Mm. So we'd done a review on this product, oh, oh gosh, late last year. And it's quite an expensive piece of kit. It's like $1,000. But to actually see it in this situation work so well, if you need the internet or you need those phone calls, it is money well spent. So Definitely. that was, was really good to see that in action. Yeah, mm. of course. And I was really surprised actually that there is service out there within the park. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to do any of the trail walks, you can get service on your phone. Yeah, that's a great segue to talk about what is in the surrounding areas as far as experiences and what makes this place so great. So the really number one experience would be the sunset sculptures as they're known. This is an absolute Ooh. stunning work of art. Oh, absolutely. 12 huge sandstone sculptures that are sitting atop the hill up there and just basically overlooking the, the rest of the, the state park here are just gorgeous and brought together by artists from all over the world and each sculpture has its unique story to tell. It makes a perfect spot for an afternoon picnic or a sundowner, you know, catching those colours of the sunsets out here. It's just gorgeous. It's actually a great idea. We went up last night and people had bought their camp chairs, cheese platter, glass of wine. I wish we had that idea. That was, it was great. Okay, the next place to visit within the state park is the John Simmons Flora and Fauna Sanctuary. This 180 hectare sanctuary is actually protected by a predator proof fence. Mm. And I would imagine that if you could come here during the spring oh. to see all of the flowering desert plants, that would be the time to come to experience that part of this area. Yeah, definitely. And it houses so much, including the cultural trail, a 2.2 kilometer track that we traversed with Jasper in tow, which was really fantastic. A great walking track mm. for families and gives you a real overview of not only the natural history, but also the cultural history of this region as well. Yeah, that's right. There's some really great Aboriginal history throughout this region, as you would expect. Uh, and as you mentioned, it was, I think, graded as a level three hike. Mm. 
Um, it took us about an hour and 45. I think they say to allow an hour and a half. Yep. So Jasper did amazingly Amazing. well. If you are a little bit unstable, it'd be good to have some of those hiking poles yeah. and make sure you obviously have got some good footwear. They also have a freshwater station yes. halfway along and some shaded outlook areas all the way throughout this walk. So again, they've just done a fantastic job bringing this all together. Yeah, and making it really accessible. Yeah. Now there's a $6 entry fee into the park per person, whether you're coming in for a day trip or if you are coming in to camp. Mm -hmm. For day trippers, you can come and go as much as you like during that day for that $6. And for campers, of course, you only pay it once. Yeah, I think that's a good point because you could literally come out here for a morning walk, which would be better than coming in the height of the day mm -hmm. when it's you know too hot, yeah. and then come back for that sunset sculpture. So I think that's why they make it you know, one fee for the whole day. So you can come and go being so close to Broken Hill City. Look, overall, we would recommend that you come and camp out here for at least two days. Mm. The maximum stay allowable is five days, yeah. um, but that way you can take in the sculptures, the different trails, all the flora and fauna, catch a couple of sunsets, and as you said, sit back, glass of wine, take in those five billion stars and really immerse yourself in this incredible environment. the ultimate feel-good road trip prize pack and it's valued at over two and a half thousand dollars. So awesome. The prize includes a motorhome holiday thanks to our great mates at Apollo. And to capture your adventures we are throwing in the latest greatest GoPro 9 plus accessories. Plus some of the caravan and camping products and accessories that we absolutely love and trust, this truly is the ultimate feel-good road trip prize pack. Okay, all you need to do is make sure that you are subscribed to our website, all the W's, thefeelgoodfamily.com.au. It is that easy. You've got to be in it to win it. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full-time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com.au. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family and happy trails. Jasper, check this out. Social distancing rules in the outback. Check it out.
keep your distance at least one adult kangaroo away. What? <laughs> one adult kangaroo? Don't worry, you, we won't get a kangaroo in between you and <laughs> mummy. <laughs> what you looking at? Looking at the incredible view. The incredible view. Is this the best thing about having a hut? <gasps> that is amazing. Huh. What are you doing here? <laughs> I didn't expect to see you out in these parts. <laughs> Is the view very good? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. What does that say? Peewee. <laughs> Do you know what they're called? Yep. Macropods. Macropods. Hello, guys. Hey, Dad. What I was talking about was. Mm -hmm. I think that's a mama and a baby. Look at that. They just make going up that landscape so easy. Look at that. Watch your head, you coming back. Oh, okay, we're off. We're off. <laughs> Don't let him get away. Wait for us, Kevin. <laughs> Watch step. That's the boy. Oh, you're leaving. Oh, okay. Do you want to go with me? You want to go, Deb? Thank you very much. No, I'm the first person. How they ever got them underground, eh? In the last uh, 26 years, myself, my two boys, and a good mate of mine, he's dead now, but we put in 55 of these square sets. And I was telling the uh, mine inspector one day, I said, I like them if they got termites in them. And he looked at me and he said, what do you mean by that? I said, they're a lot lighter if they got termites in them, mate. He didn't think that was funny. No, he probably no, okay. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Do you feel better coming up or down? <laughs> well, right now I'm pretty happy to be coming up. That's not Do you know that question? <laughs>